Hi everyone, welcome back to SDRI. We're on the site of the Unlock and Play trial that we're running currently for Syngenta with support from ICL. So various stresses at the moment, we're, we're applying wear treatment to the trial, so that's one of them. We've obviously got light intensity with the long days. Maybe starting to see a little bit of drought. It's been dry for quite a while, but the big one this week has probably been heat stress. You can have a look at the thermometers that we've got down here that are demonstrating that it is pretty hot today. And it brings us on to the topic of, uh, of growth degree days, which is a method of calculating how quick the turf is growing, how quick the grass is growing. And it's based on, on temperature and the temperature differ differentiation between high and low temperatures on each day and, and a baseline and obviously when it's warm the grass is growing quicker and at the moment we're getting 50 growth degree days in seven days which is ex obviously exactly the same as the seven day treatments for primo for 100 growth degree days that's taking about 14 days earlier on in the trial to, to achieve 50 growth degree days when it was cooler it was taking about two weeks and taking about four weeks to achieve 100 growth degree days. So it fluctuates throughout the year. And what the, what the model is designed to do is designed to apply chemicals as appropriate when they're needed, not necessarily on a fixed time scale over the course of one week or two weeks or three weeks. Get your chemicals applied as the plant requires them. Of course, there's, there's different ways of looking at it and, um, and one of the ways that we've, you know, one of the things that we've thought about this week is the fact that the temperatures are so high in some parts of the country that actually the growth is slowing down a little bit. You know, once you get over 30 degrees, growth rates tend to be, tend to slow down a little bit. The grass goes, goes into shutdown a little bit. We don't tend to get that for long because it's very rare that we get these spikes of or long heat waves. Um, but but that can happen, so that's something that you should that you should always be aware of. But growth degree days are a model that's really interesting. And if you go on the Greencast website, you'll be able to see the model on there and how to use it for your part of the country. And um, and it's an interesting tool to use. So bear that in mind. It's something that we're thinking about quite a lot with this trial. Um, as far as the results of the trial go at the moment, though, we're seeing some really interesting differences and you can probably pick that up in the turf at the moment. Some big colour differences where we've applied Rider and of course the other, the other products in the stress management section of the trial. So that's quite interesting in itself. Even the standard management trial plots, they're doing quite well as well, but we've got big colour differences between the two blocks at the moment. So lots of interesting results at the moment. Watch this space for... Um, for the next instalment.